What is going on guys, Dan with Gear Focus here, and I've got a bit of a tailgate tutorial for you today. We're looking at DaVinci Resolve Multicam. I've done a video on DaVinci Resolve Multicam before, so if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. I'll put the link up top here. But today we're gonna look at some of the questions that were most asked in the comments of that last DaVinci Resolve video. The sun keeps going in and out from behind clouds, so if I have some continuity errors with me with my sunglasses on and my sunglasses off, that's why, because the sun just keeps moving. All right, so with DaVinci Resolve open, we're just gonna go ahead and start a new project right here. Open that up. So let's go ahead over to the media page, and this is where we're gonna import our footage. Now, this is something that I can't stress enough when it comes to multicam. Your organization is absolutely key. There are things that are gonna make multicam a whole lot easier, and those are things that are gonna be done before you even go ahead and import your footage into the computer. So I have my footage located in this folder here. So I'm gonna go ahead and import this and create bins. So one of the most common questions that we get asked is what do we do if there's more than two video clips? So I've got three clips here from a wedding that I shot earlier this year. So let's see if we can get this to work in DaVinci Resolve. So over in the edit page, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight all three of my clips. Now this stock way of making your multicam clip is not really all that great. It doesn't work all that well, but we're gonna give it a shot and see if it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and just call this the multicam. And then I'm gonna make my angle sync the sound. Now, the real way to do this would be to have time code generators on all of your different angles, and then that way you could sync via time code and it'll do it almost instantaneously. But we're gonna go ahead and try to do it by sound because I know that's probably the most common way that people are gonna do this. Now, if we're gonna be syncing our clips via sound, when we go to record them, we wanna make sure that we have some kind of sync point. So what I like to do generally is use some kind of clap or something like that, some loud, distinct noise that you can look at in the waveform, and that'll help you line things up and that'll also help the auto align with its algorithm. So let's go ahead and try to auto align this. It's going to go ahead and analyze its content. So that's kind of what I expected it to do. It was only able to line up two out of the three angles, but this actually will work out really well for this tutorial. Now, unfortunately, DaVinci Resolve is not all that great at handling this stuff by itself. There are third-party softwares that you could buy, like Pluralize 4 or something like that, but what kind of tutorial would this be if I told you to just go buy another piece of software? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna manually align all of these clips. So now that it's made our multicam sequence, we're gonna go ahead and just drag that multicam down onto the timeline. And as you can see, we're gonna have multiple different angles here. We wanna make sure we get rid of our inspector window so that we have our dual window pane open and then select multicam as well. So then we have our angles one and two that we can cut back and forth with. So since this multicam sequence only has two out of our three angles, we're gonna to wanna to go in and add that third angle. So what we wanna do is we wanna right click and we wanna say open in timeline. So what this is going to do is it's going to open our multicam clip in its own timeline. Now, if you're familiar with programs like Premiere Pro, this is like what happens when you double click on your nested sequence. This is essentially like a nested sequence over in Premiere. So really, all we're going to have to do now if we want to add this third clip in is drag this third clip down just like that. And it's going to import both the audio and the video for that track. And what I like to do is I like to do this off of my main angle. So my main angle is my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. And the reason I do this is because I can feed an XLR audio feed directly into that camera. So that means I don't have to sync externally recorded audio in post. I can just have it all pipe right into the Blackmagic camera. Now we can go down here and I generally try to look for some similarities. Now, I've had a lot of experience reading waveforms. This is something that'll take maybe a bit of time for you, but it doesn't look like we're really that far off. But when in doubt, we can just go ahead and bring it all the way up to the beginning, because I know all of these clips started at relatively the same time. So now that we have everything aligned, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our original timeline. So we're gonna just go ahead and double click on this timeline down here. And now, as you can see on our main timeline, we have our three angles that we can cut back and forth between. So the same thing occurs when you want to do audio. So you can just go ahead and open up your multicam in its own timeline and add whatever you need to do in there. 
Now, one of the other big questions that we get asked on that video all the time is what happens when I want to go and color grade that footage? So it's essentially the exact same process that we just did for adding a shot, but we're going to go ahead and do our color on that timeline as well. And the reason why we would do this is because it's going to make it a lot easier since we don't have to go through and color grade each individual clip. We can just color grade the master clip in the multicam and it'll do all of the clips that the multicam generates. So again, in order to do this, we're just gonna go ahead and right click and say open in timeline. And it's gonna open that in its own timeline. So you can see we have the three clips here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and go over to the color page with that timeline open. Click on the color page and there are our clips. So we're just gonna go ahead and give these guys a quick color grade. Okay, so if we go back to our timeline here, and now as you can see, all of our color grades are maintained on this timeline. So if we then go back to our main timeline, these color grades are applied regardless of which camera angle we're on. So if we're on camera angle one, camera angle two, or camera angle three, all of our color grades are still active. So this is just a really quick and easy way to color grade your footage for your multicam. Now the last question I wanted to answer is actually a really simple one to answer, and it's what happens if you want to cut both your video and your audio at the same time? Because sometimes when you're doing like interviews and stuff, you'll have your audio switch angles, and there's a really easy way to make sure that you're doing that here in DaVinci Resolve. So when you're on your main edit page, you might see your viewer window look like this. So you have your, your main viewer, and then it has your multicam look like this. Now, when you scroll over your video angles, it's going to give you a symbol that looks like it's just swapping video back and forth. Sometimes we may want to just cut our video, we may want to cut just the audio, or we may want to cut both at the same time. And in order to do that, we need to be in the multicam workspace. So you have to make sure that our viewer on the left side is on the multicam workspace. As soon as you get into that workspace, you're going to see these three symbols on the bottom. Now, the first one is cutting just the video. The second one is cutting the video and the audio at the same time. And the third one is cutting just the audio. So if you wanna make specific cuts to your footage, that is where you make sure that you're selecting the right tracks. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for the video today. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you have any additional questions on DaVinci Resolve, go ahead and put them down in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and make sure when you hit that subscribe button, you're also hitting that bell notification so that you get notified when we post new videos. We're gonna be having a bunch more content come out here shortly, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion.